In this video, I'll be showing you how to speed run the client jobs from the terabyte in GTA Online. Using these strats, you'll get each job completed in only a couple of minutes, so you can make a ton of money in a short space of time, and better yet, you can share this wealth with up to 8 players. So without further ado, let's get to it. So what you need is a terabyte. But in order to buy the terabyte, you need to have purchased a nightclub. So for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to go ahead and assume you all have it. Next, you need an Oppressor Mark II. If you do not have one right now, do not worry, as you can still make money from these methods, as I'll explain later. It's best to have at least one other player with you, but with these, the more the merrier. So if you create a friend lobby and register as an MC, you can have up to 8 people helping you out, meaning every single one of you will make money at the same time, and you'll also get the jobs done quicker. Not only will you get each job completed quicker, but the main point of having more players is how you can bypass the cooldowns on each job, as once you have completed one, retire from your organisation, have your friends start up theirs, and join as an associate. This will avoid the cooldown completely, where you are now able to start the exact same job you've just finished. Out. This works best with 4 players changing up who is host, but this is still easy enough with just 2. This is why I mentioned having players without an oppressor not being too worried. As for these, if your crew is big enough, you can simply sit on your ass and let everyone else do the work while you collect the pay each time. All you have to worry about is joining each new organisation. When in your terabyte, you'll have a number of activities to start, and you want the top left one, client jobs. There are a total of 6 jobs that you can start, but you only ever want to do these 3, and they are robbery in progress, targeted data, and diamond shopping. These are the 3 easiest and fastest to complete, so ignore the other 3. How you want to schedule these is the first host starts from job 1, robbery in progress. Once this has been completed, the host can retire immediately. Player 2 then registers, invites everyone to join, calls in their terabyte and also starts up robbery in progress. You know what's easier than robbing a bank? Robbing bank robbers. Then once that has been completed, Player 3 repeats the same process. Do not have more than 4 hosts, as this is unnecessary for bypassing the cooldowns and will only lead to confusion. In the playthrough we did for making this video, we only had 3 players in total. So once everyone has completed their first robbery in progress, the first host then starts up targeted data, and everyone else follows the same process as host, where they will also start up targeted data. Our client needs someone taken out. I know, but the money is good and the work is interesting, so I put our hat in the ring. Then of course, once those have been completed, start up diamond shopping and repeat. Okay, you're going to steal a diamond shipment from Vangelico Fine Jewelry. By the time you've all completed diamond shopping, your cooldown for the first job, robbery in progress, should have come to an end or is about to. So you can now repeat the entire process as necessary. It's worth mentioning that it doesn't really matter where the host is when they call in their terabyte, as the host usually ends up being the one that doesn't end up completing the job, so just call it in whenever you are and get started. Be sure to take your oppressor inside to stock up your missiles each time. Every job completed will pay up between 30 and 31 and a half thousand dollars. First and foremost, always ignore Paige's instructions in these jobs. Paige and the game will tell you to use certain methods, like accessing TV from your terabyte, You're plugged into the traffic camera network. or flying a drone. Okay, both the laptops to access their servers will be upstairs. Send the drone up there, avoiding any guards. Life Invader employees are idiots, but they'll still think something's up if they see a drone flying around. Use the drone for some reconnaissance on the store, and to disable the alarm before making a move.
but these steps are completely unnecessary. So now I'll go through each of the three client jobs you want to do and how to get them done in mere minutes. Before you start, have your players floating around these banks, which are the Fleecer in Rockford Hills, the Pacific Standard Bank, or the Fleecer in Grand Sonora Desert. You said it. With a player at each bank, you'll know which one it is when your oppressor's missile locks onto the enemies. you'll have to deal with a juggernaut with a minigun and two bank robbers. Once they are dead, collect the gold and head to the drop-off point. Depending on the bank's location will depend on where the drop-off is. The Grand Sonora Desert Fleece's location is over in Vinewood Hills. Pacific Standard's location is in La Puerta. and the fleece in Rockford Hills is over down in La Mesa. Lose them and drop it off. And other crews can see where you are. Be careful out there. With everyone in the right places and getting the job done well, this should be completed in under two minutes. You'll have a wanted level en route, but by the time you get to the drop-off, you've probably lost it. As soon as this is complete, the host retires and the next person takes over to restart the same job. You know what's easier than robbing a bank? Robbing bank robbers. And as luck would have it, there's a 211 on the police scanner, so we're in business. Before you start targeted data, have your teammates floating around this building, as being too close to the Life Invader office will prevent the job from starting. Our client needs someone to take it out. I know, but the money is good and the work is interesting, so I put our hat in the ring. We aren't flower rangers after all. As soon as the job starts, swoop down and enter through this door. Piece of personal data. Well, the drone will. So get over to their offices and we'll talk. Blasting away the security. Just launch multiple drones from Terabyte. Every member of your crew can fly one. <laughs> then picking a laptop to hack. It's best to have two players hacking a computer each, while the rest of your teammates split up around the map. One laptop down, one to go. We should have access to all that personal data as soon as it's done. As the second part of the mission requires you to eliminate a target which could be in several places across the city. Nothing about this guy I don't know. He's got a contract out for people to protect him. Don't be surprised if you run into any mercenaries looking for their own payday. This should be done in around two and a half minutes. As before, the host retires so the next player can take over to host and start the mission again. The last client job to do is diamond shopping. Okay, you're going to steal a diamond shipment from Vangelico Fine Jewelry. As before, make sure you're not too close to Vangelico's jewelry store or else you won't be able to start it. Okay, you're going to steal a diamond shipment from Vangelico Fine Jewelry. Once the mission does start, swoop down and blow up the security. I think you knew what you were doing. Okay, back up plan. Grab the diamonds and get out of there before 
then take out the rest of the guards. Grab the gold from the back. Alright, now get them over to our client. They know these diamonds will be hot, but there's hot and there's hot. Don't need any police to drop off. And head towards the drop-off location, which will always be at the vineyard in Tongva Hills. The journey should give you enough time to lose your wanted level and complete the mission. This job should be completed in around a minute and a half. As you'd have guessed by now, the host retires and the next player takes over. Once all three client jobs have been completed, you can now go back through the process again, starting with robbery in progress, and then complete this routine as much as you like. Previously, these jobs have been on Double Money Event Weeks, but this has not happened for at least a couple of years now. But when they do, you can really make a killing doing the jobs as shown. On normal pay, you're looking at around $300,000 every 30 minutes. Not the greatest payout in the world, but this is a fun activity to do while you have some free time, and especially good for newer players. So that's how you speed run the Terabytes client jobs. If you found this video useful, please drop us a like and maybe consider subscribing for more. Here are some other videos you may also enjoy. I'm Beats Down, and I'll see you in the next one.